Where there is discord, may we bring harmony. Where there is error, may we bring truth. Where there is doubt, may we bring faith. The general election of 1979 ushered in 18 years of Conservative government throughout Britain. And although Thatcher's government was extremely unpopular in Scotland, the nature of the union was such that it mattered not a jot which way Scotland voted. This point was made extremely well by David Butler when he unintentionally made one of the best cases for Scottish independence on the 1979 election night broadcast on the BBC. I think we shall see a reasonably even swing, a more even swing than most people have been saying, across the country as a whole, except in Scotland. And Scotland is the trouble because our first result comes from Glasgow, and it may not tell us much about what's happening in the rest of the country where the election is really decided. You could have a steam train For all that Scotland and the rest of Britain have in common, there is one thing we seem destined never to agree on, and that's politics. And given that the Union is all about politics, it naturally follows that it doesn't work, and it can't possibly be accurately representative of any one area of the Union at all. In 1997, for example, the Tories were completely kicked out of Scotland. And in the most recent general election of 2010, which saw historic changes in the makeup of Westminster Parliament, not one Scottish seat changed hands. And whilst the rest of Britain saw a big swing towards the Tories, Scotland's Tory vote actually went down. Which kind of begs the question, was there any point in Scotland even voting in the first place? <laughs>